Okay, my motivational ninjas, motivational ninjas, that's my other podcast, Motivated Entrepreneurs. Hello, my sexy self-stories nerds. This is a great podcast. Um, I get asked this question a lot. And so I've I've done a piece about it on LinkedIn. I've done it in my newsletter, mrselfstories.com, by the way, sign up. You get all my all my figures for the sites. Uh, I've got a rate right tonight and uh, the figures haven't been good. I'm, I'm recording this on 15th of August. Ugh, the figures have not been great whatsoever. Um so yeah, I get asked about this a lot. And uh, like I said, I've done it in the newsletter. I've done it on LinkedIn. And I thought I'd actually mention it on the podcast. It was supposed to go out a couple of weeks ago, but unfortunately the sound didn't work. <laughs> and so you could just hear me going, oh, my, 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 my face moving and no sound coming out, which wasn't good. Um, my, my sound worked, by the way, but the audio didn't record. Hopefully that's uh, <laughs> that's that makes sense. Right, so people have asked me, what percentage of your revenue should you be spending on marketing? It's a loaded question, isn't it? And um, so I can only say what I'm spending. And I've spoken to other people in the industry and a lot of people are around about the same. So I've got loads of notes here for when I wrote about it in the newsletter. And um, you've got to bear in mind that the big caveat is that when you're not a mature site, when you haven't got any income or the newer your site, so like when we open in Mansfield, we're going to have no revenue, but we're probably going to spend in two grand a month on pay-per-clicks. So therefore, um, it could be, well, it'd be more than 100% because we've not got no revenue. And so it will decrease the percentage over the period of time of, as you go along. So before um, I was spending, when, when I was making uh, £500,000, when I was taking £500,000 a year, I was probably still spending £5,000 on ads. However, um, a month. Now I'm spending. Um, now I'm spending four. So I'm spending five thousand pound, and my ten of one point three million. So the percentages change depending on how much money you're taking. But let's let's uh, argument say let's say a mature site. Willoughby's not mature, but it's not far off being mature. It's not going to be taking massive amounts extra. Um, and so we're going to focus on my sites at the minute. But I can only tell you what I do. And so we've got Willoughby, which is nearly mature. We've got Wrexham, which is a mature site, but ran poorly previously, so we can increase the revenue there. We've got Beverly, which is a mature site, which we don't do any pay-per-clicks on because we're n none of the competition competitors do, and we're number one. So we don't need to in that area. Um, and then... We've got Clough Road as well, which isn't a mature site. Um, so the revenue will go up there. So I can tell you what I'm doing right now. So my revenue is around about 1.3 million pound a year currently. And that, like I say, that will keep increasing. I currently spend 54,000 pound a year on pay-per-clicks ads on. And by the way, I, I don't really do any other advertising. What do, do, Another thing I do is grassroots football. It's a passion of mine. I love it. I love seeing kids... Um, play around with Storm or Self Storage, Beverly 24. I love it. And so if anybody in, in my area wants me to sponsor them, I would never say no because I think it's so important to support grassroots football. It's a passion of mine and I love it. So I haven't included that. I'm just talking about paper clicks because that's the only form of advertising that we currently do. And I've been into it a million times about what form of advertising works. Um, I'm going to try Facebook ads again for Mansfield um, for when we when we launch. But in just very, very quickly, there's got to be an intent. There's got to be a need. When you're doing marketing, it, when there's an intent and the need for self-storage, that's that's the customers we're focusing on. You go to Google. And yes, I know YouTube's the second biggest search engine, but you do not just go there right now and say self-storage is whole. You just don't do it. So that's irrelevant. Facebook ads, yes, your customers are on Facebook, but it's a more of a branding exercise. And unless you've got millions and millions of pounds, for me, it's not quite worth it. I'm going to test it again. I've tested it, tested it, tested it, um, and it hasn't worked previously. I'll test it again, see what happens, because uh, things might have been ch things change all the time. It might have changed again, but I can only go off what we found. It didn't work before, and I know Gary V says, "Well, just because you shit at Facebook ads." Well, as a whole, I would agree with that sentiment, but. It's where I, I know Facebook ads. It's worked for me in other industries, and I've absolutely crushed it. But in this industry, we haven't crushed it because it needs to be an intent. And I'm not saying it doesn't work, but you can't see, you can't correlate an ROI from a Facebook ad. Um, we can't see it anyway. 
And unless you do pixel pixel people, so when they come to your website, then you can follow them on the internet, etc. And so we can do retargeting on, on Facebook, although things are changing all the time with that. Um, so we have done that before. Right. Anyway, back to the nuts and crannies of it. So my revenue is 1.3 million. My spend every single month is around about four and a half thousand pounds. May in, might increase a little bit now. So that's four fifty four thousand pound a year. That's four percent of my revenue goes on advertisements. But I put I put here just a note. Please bear in mind when you first open a facility, your percentage will be a lot higher because there is less revenue. When you have a mature site, the percentage will be a lot lower. I think a solid rule of thumb for a mature site should be around about four to five percent of your revenue should go on marketing. Self storage spend less than most industries, according to Google. I did my research, boys and girls. I didn't just pull this up myself. I did some research. The average B2C, so business to consumer business, um, should spend between 5 and 10% of their revenue on marketing. That's the average B2C. Now, obviously, there's a whole host of industries in there and sectors. And so... You, Take that with a pinch of salt. That's just what Google are saying or entrepreneur. I can't remember what website. Loads of websites anyway. They're all saying the same. I think the main advice I can give you is know your numbers. If you know the cost to acquire a customer and you know your lifetime value of a customer, then if the cost to acquire a customer is less than the lifetime value of a customer, you shouldn't have a limit. You should just keep spending, spending, spending. So for example, if it costs you £100 to acquire a customer, and the lifetime value of a customer is a thousand pound. Well, guess what? I'd make that trade every single day of a week. I'd pay 100 to get a thousand pound back. Who wouldn't? 10x in your business. It is, or 10x in your, your money. It is mental. Um, there shouldn't be a limit or a percentage of revenue. Your marketing then becomes an investment, not a cost. That's the problem nowadays. People think that their marketing is an expense. It's not. It's an inve- well, it, it is officially on your on your accounts and your on your balance sheet, etc. Um, but it's not in reality because it's an investment because you're putting money into a machine that's giving you more out. So I would recommend that everybody just keeps a very very close eye on this because um, you need to know your numbers because what's working one week, one month on pay per clicks or wherever you're marketing, it might not work next week, next month it changes consistently. So we need to keep an eye on the figures um, because the data is the data and we follow the data. We follow exactly what the data is telling us. Currently, I think last month in July, we were picking up people for £60 a month. £60 a month. That is nuts. £60, so £60 it cost us to pick up, acquire a customer and lifetime value is nearly £1,000. So it is well worth it. Right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you. Have a great Friday. Um, and uh, yeah. Hope this, <laughs> hope this episode was interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what I was going to say. All right. I love you. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.